This is Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group. And another big down market today, added volatility into the marketplace. And there is just so much on the table right now, really throwing headwinds into the overall market. First off, we have the Hawks Fed, uh, the Fed's hawkish comments from yesterday, signaling that, you know, rate rises are, are going to remain. It's the new norm. And, you know, there, there's definitely, that is throwing some nervousness into this marketplace. On top of that, con continuous tariff China issues here. The rhetoric has really ratcheted up. The, the Chinese yuan you know, is it being devalued on purpose or not? The Fed doesn't, you know, doesn't think so. Yet, there's a big issue there. We're going to get some GDP numbers out of China tomorrow, and that may actually signal what is happening there and how much more at risk that marketplace is. Their overall stock market is down about 25% this year. So that's hampering our market here right now. And then we have more geopolitical risks, especially the risk coming out of Saudi Arabia and the news today that Mnuchin is not going to Saudi for that conference. So we have all of this headline risk, economic risk, Fed risk at, you know, right on top of us right now. Yet the market is down for the S&Ps are down 40 points today. The, the Dow is down 350, 400 points, yet the market really is still hanging over, hanging in there for all of this risk that is out there. Now, ES options yesterday continue to be busy. Over 800,000 options traded yesterday, about 65% of them on the put side. As the pattern we have seen continues, we are seeing near-term put buying and further out call buying. The near-term puts that expire coming up here, the EOM, EW3 October, Okay, October 2400 and 2375 puts. Those traded 23,000 contracts each yesterday. Huge volume. And going out to December, continued December call buying. About eight, 9,000 each of the December th uh, 3,000 calls and the December 3,045. So, you know, if, if that pattern holds, it's short term put buying, longer term call buying. We'll have to see what happens. With the added volatility in the marketplace right now, ES Mini Options are predicting a move of $31 between today and expiration tomorrow. $31 and $65 out to next week. Typically, with one day left to go to expiration, we'll see a move that's priced into the marketplace of maybe $8 to $10. And going out that week, maybe in the range of $23, $24. So you can see how the added volatility is impacting the option prices out in the marketplace right now. Bitcoin. Well, last week on the major sell-off of the overall marketplace, we actually saw Bitcoin futures sell off as well. Not the case right now, at least not yet. Holding steady around the 64 to 6500 level. Volume still not great, though one interesting dynamic out there right now is CME futures, again, trading about that 6500 price, but on one of the exchanges, the Bitfinex exchange, there's about a $300 premium to the future price here. The reason being is an issue, or at least a perceived issue, with the altcoin Tether. People are trying to get out of their tether so they can buy Bitcoin, and that is driving up the price of Bitcoin on the Bitfinex exchange. Scott Bauer on the floor of the CME Group.